The Boeing 777 is one of the most popular wide-body aircraft in the world and one of the first high-capacity aircraft to switch to a two-engine design. Meanwhile, competitor Airbus doubled down on the four-engine A340. So why did Boeing go with two engines for its 777? Boeing first proposed the 777 in the late 1980s as an aircraft bridging the gap between the 747 and the smaller 767. Both aircraft had seen widespread market success in the previous years due to their efficiency, with the 757 and 767 popular due to their recent ETOP certification. The American manufacturer first proposed the 777 as the 767X, which would feature a longer and wider fuselage but maintain the same design as the 767. However, most airlines wanted a larger, more efficient aircraft, which could be used on even longer routes. Boeing opted for a clean sheet design for the 777, but stuck to the twin-engine configuration. The main reasons were a lower cost for engine development and an overall lower program price tag. By comparison, Airbus entered the high-capacity wide-body market with its A340. This market was dominated by the four-engine 747 and Trijet DC-10. Notably, twin-engine aircraft did not have the required ETOPS rating for long-haul flights until 1985. By then, Airbus had essentially solidified the A340 design, including four engines to meet long-distance regulations. The primary reason Boeing opted for a twin-engine 777 was due to the unparalleled efficiency it offered. Boeing had already noted the use of the 767 on transatlantic operations after ETOP certification in 1985, bringing down the last barrier for long-haul twinjet operations. Lower fuel costs and lower maintenance costs gave it a huge advantage over the four-engined A340. Engine development was also simplified for the 777, with all three major manufacturers offering power plants for the jet. Boeing also famously made the decision to include eight major airlines in the development process. This helped the manufacturer net high sales and design the aircraft in line with customer priorities. More recently, Boeing embarked on the 777X program, which improves on the efficiency of the previous generation. The 777-8 and 777-9 both offer improvements in terms of emissions and efficiency. The 777X will produce 30% fewer emissions than previous planes and offer 20% more efficiency through the new GE-9X engines. The decision to build a twin-engine 777 instead of a four-engine wide body like the A340 has paid off in spades. In terms of sales, Boeing has received orders for 2,200 777 aircraft, delivering 1,646 of those. The more recent 777X has received 309 orders, lower than its predecessor, but a number that will most likely grow. Comparatively, the Airbus A340 only received 377 orders in total before the program was shut down. The Boeing 777 will be in aircraft fleets for decades to come, either as passenger variants or freighters. With over two decades of success, multiple variants and further development, the 777 is undeniably the most successful twin-engine plane today. What do you think about Boeing's decision to build a twin-engine 777? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.